Peter Chang and welcome to part 12 of our How to Paint Your RC Car series. And in part 12, we're, we've basically have finished off painting all the mirrored chrome for Lexan and all of the uh, mirrored chrome detailed areas. And you really can't quite see it because the only thing we, we have left here is to paint it black. And I'm just going to shake up this uh, fast color paint and we're going to be using our trusty Iwata BCS Eclipse airbrush and the reason why I love the Iwata BCS Eclipse airbrush is is that it has the the bottom feed for a longer painting session and also the 0.5 millimeter needle uh, allows me to paint for a much longer session and we're going to see that because the bulk of this RC car is is going to be in black and then also I'm going to use uh, black to back everything that it's going to take a little bit uh, longer to paint everything and it's not to say like the other parts of the car were shorter to paint it's just that um, because it's because the entire Lexan body is going to be back coated with black that we're going to be using this for a little longer session. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw in the the uh, bottle there. And so you see it's a bottom feed bottle, but it's a, uh, a lot of big mouth bottles, so it's going to last for quite a long spray session. And honestly, I'm pouring in more paint into the paint bottle than I need at this time, and it's just, once again, it's just fast color black straight from the bottle. And I'm just going to paint this in a uh, left to right maneuver. And I'm just keeping this consistent. I'm just going to keep painting it left to right, left to right. And the OCAD Mirror Chrome 2 instructions state that you should actually use a water soluble paint to back it. So uh, that's what I'm going ahead and using. Um, also, just so you know that there's uh, other manufacturers of the of the paint as well too, like uh, the mirrored chrome paint. Um, Spat Sticks also has one. Um, it's just that at the time when I was creating this tutorial, uh, I couldn't quite locate the uh, Spat Sticks uh, mirrored chrome paint, but we could try that for a, another uh, video in the future. So just so you know, I'm just you know just taking my time, uh, making sure that the coat is nice and even, and you don't. You know, there, there's this compelling need to, I want to say, rush through this work. But what you would notice is that uh, if you start to rush through the work, uh, you you won't we won't see like a nice and consistent uh, paint uh, work on this. Um, what I love about fast color is that it is a very consistent paint. Um, it is kind of now you should know that fast color paint is kind of a thicker paint but it is uh, it, it can be painted from an airbrush and it's uh, and, and it does paint quite nicely as you see here and and we see that it does seem to dry pretty pretty well uh, pretty evenly too uh, unlike the the Patra paint where I, I might have need to thin that more with uh, with some thinner so unlike the enamel based paint uh, this water soluble water based paint is is actually drying the way I'm, I'm expecting all right so I'm just gonna take uh, kind of a little clog in here when you do that um, you can either agitate the uh, paint cup or or if you have dry tip on the airbrush you could uh, pull off the nozzle cap on the airbrush and then uh, clean off the needle or another idea is to uh, go to your air compressor and then adjust the regulator so that you're you're actually pumping in just a little bit more PSI to to blow out whatever was uh, clogging the airbrush. So just so you realize that the fast color paint is is uh, is a thick paint, uh, and for that reason I'm not I'm not painting this using uh, using a smaller needle tip to airbrush. Um, I have met people that have used like a uh, 0.3 or 0.35 millimeter 
needle. But just so you know, it's uh, um, it is just kind of inevitable to uh, start clocking when you're when you're using that uh, that uh, brush. Uh, also, just so you know, um, you want to paint in a even though it's a water soluble based paint, I highly encourage you to paint in a uh, well ventilated area. As you can see, um, there's a lot of like overspray that's occurring. So if you have a paint booth, that's great. I highly recommend getting a paint booth and then I also highly recommend uh, using a respirator when you're painting so so you're not breathing in all this uh, access paint uh, another thing you should be aware of when you're painting this is that because there's so much uh, area there's such a large coverage of black area um, just want you to know that you need to uh, be careful not to touch the underside of the Lexan body uh, because otherwise you might paint in like a uh, fingerprint mark so so that could uh, also occur so I'm just wanting you to be aware of that as well too but we're almost done with this undersigned painting and I'm just gonna go ahead go around making like one last sweep here uh, and also you just want to be careful that you don't uh, overpaint uh, this area either as well but just a couple of light coats, couple of couple of large, quick light coats, and it should look pretty good. Man, that is looking very cool. So we have mirrored Lexan on the underside, and then we back that with uh, black. And yellow, yellow could could look a little better. Um, it's uh, I tried to fix the cracking a little bit by going through another sweep, but um, it's just not sticking that that great so um, I, I have to admit that uh, if you're in a if you really want a treble free paint job you should definitely go with the uh, fast color uh, just the the Pactra stuff is is a little bit better from the spray can uh, with the airbrush you you need to come up with your own formulation for for mixing the uh, the, thin, the thinner in and there because uh, it you know because it just sprays a little too thick but man, the uh, I'm really impressed with the uh, El Clad mirrored chrome for Lexan, and we see that it's it's got some impeccable detail, and it, it is looking very nice. Um, also, I just want to point out that this wouldn't have been possible without the uh, Awada series of airbrushes. It just allows for unprecedented control when you're when you're trying to achieve this level of detail. Also, the Bob Dively liquid mask. Is, is also very helpful for creating designs and whatever you're envisioning. So essentially with the right tools, whatever you imagine can be done. Let me just go ahead and let's just peel away this protective film. We no longer actually need this protective film. So once, uh, once everything starts drying out, uh, we won't be needing this anymore. So let's go ahead and just move back here. And let's go ahead and uh, try pulling out this uh, protective film out. But man, I'm just uh, just really digging the way that the, the whole underside is drying and looking. And also the just kind of impressed with the, uh, with the level of detail I'm getting from, from the stencils and from the uh, Wada airbrushes. So tricky part is is just you know figuring out where you could pull back the film, and I think I got it here. Let's just give it a good pull. There we are. So as you're pulling back the film, uh, be careful not to not to damage the rest of the body. It's just uh, kind of easy to to drop everything on the on the floor in the studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and just keep pulling back. There we go. And man, this body is looking very cool. And we get a we get a better better look at the detail of the car. Really awesome. And once again, um, you you would paint out like all the areas, even though you know there might be areas where you might designate to cut out. Uh, if you're painting. Uh, RC car bodies to sell because like once once you paint one car and you bring it to the track a lot of the other racers would be like hey who painted your car and you could say it's me and and then uh, everybody would want want you to paint their their cars too 
So if you are going to be painting other guys' cars, uh, you should actually just paint everything on the on the car and let let the uh, owner decide which which areas to cut out. Uh, you just can't make any assumptions as to like, hey, they're going to want to cut out this area. Uh, even though I have a high flow body, uh, I might leave some holes in here. So, or I might leave, uh, I might not cut out everything because uh, I, I want the body to be a little bit more structurally sound. Because once you start cutting out more holes, the the body becomes less, the, the body weakens a little bit, but it is, and it's not as structurally sound. But overall, I'm quite happy with the paint job. Uh, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part of our tutorial where we paint the, the fins. Thanks for watching, and remember, everything matters.